Hey everybody, this is Brian from PNB Homesteading and I want to show the uh, mid-size grow tent here underneath our house for our salad greens. Give you a little update on uh, the progress of all the different uh, variants we've got growing in here and uh, show what's going to be going into the salad bar LED area right over here because I just did a harvest in one of my other videos. So let me get the camera and I'll put the safety goggles on and go over here to the tent. Alright, as you can see, the uh, gourmet lettuce blend has really taken off since last week's video and I think I'm gonna take one of these trays as well as one of the DMRs over to the salad bar area because you gotta look at the growth on these guys I mean these things are really taking off I'm thinking this DMR salad blend is gonna be one of the regulars we're gonna have inside the tent it's got a lot of nice fluffy growth and uh, that'll be a we could probably fill up a one of our colander containers with just that and the gourmet blend I think these are going to be definitely ones we're going to continue doing this winter. The uh, first cut of the uh, unknown variant is also almost ready for another harvest. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll just take the DMRs and I'll take the gourmet lettuce blend over. But the uh, Yankee Hardy blend, the ones we seeded last week, you can see down here. Here's the, uh, the Yankee Hardy lettuce mix. You can see it's really sprouted up. As well as the uh, Astro Arugula. I mean, it's really coming along. So I should be able to get some harvest off of that, you know, probably in another two weeks. And I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with this Yankee Hardy blend to see if it's going to be as productive as that DMR up above. It's really got some good growth. The uh, beta salad mix down here, looks like it's coming along. These just seem to be like they're a, they're a longer, longer cycle before I'll be doing harvest. So I'll have to probably, you know, put these back in the tent a little longer than I will the... Uh, the gourmet lettuce blend and the DMRs up above. As you can see, they're coming along pretty nice. I mean, they're, they've got some pretty good leaf growth. So they're going to be probably another two weeks. And I'd say we'll be able to start harvesting off and rotating those trays in and out of the uh, harvest uh, salad bar LED area. Let's go back up here. So that's kind of, you know, and that's the hot mix up there. I'm going to be switching this tray out of here and putting it over into the uh, salad bar LED area today because I harvested it off in the other video you'll see. I took the other salad, the hot mix one, and I chopped it and I put it into this week's mix of uh, greens. This tent's doing really well. Uh, no problems, no mildews. Stays temperature regulated just like it should. And uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. All right, let me put the camera back over here. Sign off for this video, just doing another little quick update tripod folded out. Make sure I get my beautiful mug on the, the camera. <laughs> oh, I got you guys this. I just love doing this. <laughs> I love coming down here and harvesting off the stuff. Uh, anyway, this has been the update for the mid-size grow tent for this week. Uh, we're heading into the final weeks of production out in the yard. Did some harvesting on the last of the few tomatoes that we're getting. Uh, a lot of them are starting to get the brown spot. So we won't be doing too much more harvesting off of those. But uh, then full swing, we're going to be coming in here, and this is going to be our uh, our greens growth for the winter. It's going to be pretty exciting to see uh, how much we actually get per week, and if I can get this thing cycling right, how much we're going to save on the, uh, the purchase of uh, organic lettuces and specialty greens at the stores. Because I know that stuff gets real expensive after a while, and people think, oh, well, you're putting all this money into these tents. And well, what's your electricity cost? Well, I mean, I'm using LED lights and I do have a meter. And I'm planning on doing a, uh, a video that'll show uh, my actual, you know, wattage output or, you know, how much it's costing me per kilowatt. I think it's like 10 cents and I'm doing it at night. So I think it's on the uh, six, six cents here in the Northwest, uh, you know, six cents per kilowatt hour. And uh, I'm going to have to do a calculation because I did have a little meter that I had plugged in here, but I was drawing so many amps through that little guy. I think I blew him out. But uh, I've got one of those uh, clip-on clamp meters along with an isolator bar that I'm going to put in there. And then I can do the actual calculations and see how much these tents are drawn versus how much it's going to cost, you know, if you went to the store and bought these little micro greens in a bag and that kind of stuff. So I'll do a video on that at some point this winter. All right, everybody. This has been Brian from PMV Homesteading. I'll talk to you again. Bye.